<laughs> Lesson 238. Welcome back and good morning. Are you ready? Wait a minute. I need to take another deep breath. Um, Do you have a cow in your living room? Sis, that's my ohm. That's not a cow. <laughs> See, <laughs> I need to work on that. Is that what you're delicately trying to tell me? Yeah. All right. Here we go, you guys. Ooh, here we go. On my decision, on my decision, all salvation rests on my decision all salvation rests father your trust in me has been so great i must be worthy you created me and know me as i am and yet you placed your son's salvation in my hands and let it rest on my decision. I must be beloved of you indeed. And I must be steadfast in holiness as well, that you would give your son to me in certainty that he is safe, who is still part of you and yet is mine because he is myself. Wow. Sorry, I just never thought of it in these terms before. I don't think I don't remember reading this before in the text. I'm sure we did, but it's just sort of hitting me in a new way. It's come through the side window. It did. Okay, and so again today we pause to think how much our Father loves us and how dear His Son, created by His love, remains to Him whose love is made complete in Him. Hmm. On my decision all salvation rests can we can we just go over this again it's just way i am too right. crucial yeah to just pass over in one yeah. glance here yeah definitely so it needs to be gone through again so that the impact mm -hmm. can penetrate mm -hmm. uh our defenses right uh, you read here, Father, your trust in me has been so great, I must be worthy. You created me and know me as I am. And yet you placed your son's salvation, meaning the entire sonship, and yet you placed your son's salvation in my hands and let it rest on my decision. Yeah. I must be beloved of you indeed that you have placed the sonship in my hands, right? Mm -hmm. You trust me enough to have done that. And I must be steadfast in holiness as well. Holiness is incorruptible, uninterrupted innocence, changeless innocence. That is the core of what we are in truth as the shared holy self, as the son of God, the Christ. So he says, and I must be steadfast in holiness as well, that you would give your son the sonship, that's right. To me, in certainty that he is safe, who still is part of you, and yet is mine, because he is myself. Does, is that what hit home for you, Sis? Yes, yes. Just, yes, that there is a trust between the Father and the Son, one in being. It doesn't mean that God knows about the separation. 
It's just that, you know, we share the power of the mind of God. God would never let anything happen to his son. He trusts our the the union the relationship the love the certainty that we have in each other that even this temporary dream you know can't touch or do anything and that we would return that the the sleeping mind would awaken there's there's never a question in the mind of god about the status of his son and that we you, you know even here in this in this dream or yeah the the suggestion of um of separation I could just feel the ultimate certainty that uh, of the awakening that we have to return to the father and that we will and that that love and that light that's in us is that certainty it's the father certainty in us is it that... is the father certainty in us mm -hmm. but the return mm -hmm. rests on our that's recognition right that our brothers and sisters are in us, mm -hmm. literally, and that we are in them. Mm -hmm. And that it is that their return, which is our return, mm -hmm. rests on our deciding with God. Mm -hmm. Heaven is a decision I must make. Yes. And heaven is going to be seen first, not in isolation, but in our brother. Yes, because heaven is the remembrance of union, is what Jesus defined yeah. it somewhere in the course. Yes, the memory of union. Yep. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Hmm. And also to unpack this. Go on. Just remembering that you know it was done the moment that the thought arised. And that's why all we really need do mm -hmm. is to accept yes. the atonement, right. accept atonement, mm -hmm. which is the undoing of what never was. Mm -hmm. When we can, when we realize the connection with our brothers, we're going to want to make this decision on behalf of the sonship because there'll be a felt state of love. There will be a wanting to come home, be with the Father in our awareness and the memory of union that our brothers and ourselves were the one same being in individuated expression. But I just can feel that, that when love breaks through, that this is the only natural, inevitable, you know, immediate decision that the mind will make. And God knows this. Let's trust that. Well, let's make that choice now. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. I like that fresh, fresh angle on this. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Jay. <laughs> so lesson 238, on my decision, all salvation rests. That's it. Thank you, sis. Thank you.